The Xbox 360 is a home video game console developed by Microsoft. As the successor to the original Xbox, it is the second console in the Xbox series. It competed with Sony's PlayStation 3 and Nintendo's Wii as part of the seventh generation of video game consoles. It was officially unveiled on MTV on May 12, 2005, with detailed launch and game information announced later that month at the 2005 E3 Expo. The Xbox 360 features an online service, Xbox Live, which was expanded from its previous iteration on the original Xbox and received regular updates during the console's lifetime. Available in free and subscription-based varieties, Xbox Live allows users to play games online, download games through Xbox Live Arcade and game demos, purchase and stream music, television programs, and films through the Xbox Music and Xbox Video portals, and access third-party content services through media streaming applications. In addition to online multimedia features, it allows users to stream media from local PCs. Several peripherals have been released, including wireless controllers, expanded hard drive storage, and the Kinect motion sensing camera. The release of these additional services and peripherals helped the Xbox brand grow from gaming only to encompassing all multimedia, turning it into a hub for living room computing entertainment. Launched worldwide across 2005 2006, the Xbox 360 was initially in short supply in many regions, including North America and Europe. The earliest versions of the console suffered from a high failure rate, indicated by the so-called Red Ring of Death, necessitating an extension of the device's warranty period. Microsoft released two redesigned models of the console, the Xbox 360S in 2010, and the Xbox 360E in 2013. As of June 2014, 84 million Xbox 360 consoles have been sold worldwide, making it the sixth highest selling video game console in history, and the highest selling console made by an American company. Although not the best selling console of its generation, the Xbox 360 was deemed by TechRadar to be the most influential through its emphasis on digital media distribution and multiplayer gaming on Xbox Live. The Xbox 360's successor, the Xbox One, was released on November 22, 2013. On April 20, 2016, Microsoft announced that it would end the production of new Xbox 360 hardware, although the company will continue to support the platform. Topic. History Topic. Topic. Development Topic. Known during development as Xbox Next, Xenon, Xbox 2, Xbox FS or Nextbox, the Xbox 360 was conceived in early 2003. In February 2003, planning for the Xenon software platform began, and was headed by Microsoft's Vice President Jay Allard. That month, Microsoft held an event for 400 developers in Bellevue, Washington to recruit support for the system. Also that month, Peter Moore, former president of Sega of America, joined Microsoft. On August 12, 2003, ATI signed on to produce the graphic processing unit for the new console, a deal which was publicly announced two days later. Before the launch of the Xbox 360, several alpha development kits were spotted using Apple's Power Mac G5 hardware. This was because the system S PO RPC 970 processor running the same PO RPC architecture that the Xbox 360 would eventually run under IBM's Xenon processor. The cores of the Xenon processor were developed using a slightly modified version of the PlayStation 3's cell processor PPE architecture. According to David Shippey and Mickey Phipps, the IBM employees were hiding their work from Sony and Toshiba, IBM. S partners in developing the cell processor. Jeff Minter created the music visualization program Neon which is included with the Xbox 360. Topic. Launch Topic. 
The Xbox 360 was released on November 22, 2005, in the United States and Canada, December 2, 2005, in Europe and December 10, 2005, in Japan. It was later launched in Mexico, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Hong Kong, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, India, and Russia. In its first year on the market, the system launched in 36 countries, more countries than any other console has launched in a single year. Topic. Critical reception Topic. In 2009, IGN named the Xbox 360 the sixth greatest video game console of all time, out of a field of 25. Although not the best-selling console of the seventh generation, the Xbox 360 was deemed by TechRadar to be the most influential, by emphasizing digital media distribution and online gaming through Xbox Live, and by popularizing Game Achievement Awards. PC Magazine considered the Xbox 360 the prototype for online gaming as it proved that online gaming communities could thrive in the console space. Five years after the Xbox 360, original debut, the well-received Kinect motion capture camera was released, which set the record of being the fastest-selling consumer electronic device in history, and extended the life of the console. Edge ranked Xbox 360 the second best console of the 1993-2013 period, stating it had its own social network, cross-game chat, new indie games every week, and the best version of just about every multi-format game. Killzone is no Halo and nowadays Gran Turismo is no Forza, but it's not about the exclusives. There's nothing to trump Naughty Dog's PS3 output, after all. Rather, it's about the choices Microsoft made back in the original Xbox's lifetime. The PC-like architecture meant the early EA Sports games ran at 60 FPS compared to only 30 on PS3, Xbox Live meant every dedicated player had an existing friends list, and Halo meant Microsoft had the killer next generation exclusive. And when developers demo games on PC now they do it with a 360 pad. Another industry benchmark, and a critical one. Topic. Sales. Topic. The Xbox 360 began production only 69 days before launch, and Microsoft was not able to supply enough systems to meet initial consumer demand in Europe or North America, selling out completely upon release in all regions except in Japan. 40,000 units were offered for sale on auction site eBay during the initial week of release, 10% of the total supply. By year's end, Microsoft had shipped 1.5 million units, including 900,000 in North America, 500,000 in Europe, and 100,000 in Japan. In May 2008, Microsoft announced that 10 million Xbox 360s had been sold and that it was the first current generation gaming console to surpass the 10 million figure in the U.S. In the U.S., the Xbox 360 was the leader in current-generation home console sales until June 2008, when it was surpassed by the Wii. The Xbox 360 has sold a total of 870,000 units in Canada as of August 1, 2008. Between January 2011 and October 2013, the Xbox 360 was the best selling console in the United States for these 32 consecutive months. In Europe, the Xbox 360 has sold 7 million units as of November 20, 2008, according to Microsoft. In the United Kingdom, the Xbox 360 has sold 3.9 million units as of June 27, 2009, according to GFK Chart Track, while the original Xbox sold poorly in Japan, selling just 450,000 by November 2011, the Xbox 360 sold almost as poorly, selling only 1.5 million units from 2005 to 2011. Edge magazine reported in August 2011 that initially lackluster and subsequently falling sales in Japan, where Microsoft had been unable to make serious inroads into the dominance of domestic rivals Sony and Nintendo, had led to retailers scaling down and in some cases discontinuing sales of the Xbox 360 completely. The significance of Japan's poor sales might be overstated in the media in comparison to overall international sales. Topic. Legacy Topic. 
The Xbox 360 sold much better than its predecessor, and although not the best-selling console of the seventh generation, it is regarded as a success since it strengthened Microsoft as a major force in the console market at the expense of well-established rivals. The inexpensive Nintendo Wii did sell the most console units but eventually saw a collapse of third-party software support in its later years, and it has been viewed by some as a fad since the succeeding Wii U had a poor debut in 2012. The PlayStation 3 struggled for a time due to being too expensive and initially lacking quality games, making it far less dominant than its predecessor, the PlayStation 2, and it took until late in the PlayStation 3. S lifespan for its sales and games to reach parity with the Xbox 360. Techradar proclaimed that Xbox 360 passes the baton as the king of the hill, a position that puts all the more pressure on its successor, Xbox One. The Xbox 360's advantage over its competitors was due to the release of high profile games from both first party and third party developers. The 2007 Game Critics Awards honored the platform with 38 nominations and 12 wins, more than any other platform. By March 2008, the Xbox 360 had reached a software attach rate of 7.5 games per console in the US, the rate was 7.0 in Europe, while its competitors were 3.8 PS3 and 3.5 Wii, according to Microsoft. At the 2008 Game Developers Conference, Microsoft announced that it expected over 1,000 games available for Xbox 360 by the end of the year. As well as enjoying exclusives such as additions to the Halo franchise and Gears of War, the Xbox 360 has managed to gain a simultaneous release of games that were initially planned to be PS3 exclusives, including Devil May Cry 4, Ace Combat 6, Virtua Fighter 5, Grand Theft Auto 4, Final Fantasy 13, Tekken 6, Metal Gear Solid, Rising, and L.A. Noir. In addition, Xbox 360 versions of cross-platform games were generally considered superior to their PS3 counterparts in 2006 and 2007, due in part to the difficulties of programming for the PS3. TechRadar deemed the Xbox 360 as the most influential game system through its emphasis of digital media distribution, Xbox Live online gaming service, and game achievement feature. During the console, S lifetime, the Xbox brand has grown from gaming only to encompassing all multimedia, turning it into a hub for living room computing environment. Five years after the Xbox 360's original debut, the well-received Kinect motion capture camera was released, which became the fastest-selling consumer electronic device in history, and extended the life of the console. Microsoft announced the Xbox One, successor to the Xbox 360, at E3 on June 10, 2013. Although succeeded as Microsoft's main console by the Xbox One, support from publishers for the Xbox 360 is expected to continue until at least 2016. On April 20, 2016, Microsoft announced the end of production of new Xbox 360 hardware. The company will continue to provide hardware and software support for the platform, as selected Xbox 360 games can be played on Xbox One. Topic: Hardware. Topic. The main unit of the Xbox 360 itself has slight double concavity in matte white or black. The official color of the white model is Arctic Chill. It features a port on the top when vertical left side when horizontal to which a custom-housed hard disk drive unit can be attached. On the Slim and E models, the hard drive bay is on the bottom when vertical right side when horizontal and requires the opening of a concealed door to access it. This does not void the warranty. The Xbox 360 Slim E hard drives are standard 2.5 SATA laptop drives, but have a custom enclosure and firmware so that the Xbox 360 can recognize it. Topic: <laughs> Technical specifications. Topic: Various hard disk drives have been produced, including options at 20, 60, 120, 250, or 320 gigabytes. Inside, the Xbox 360 uses the triple-core IBM-designed Xenon as its CPU, with each core capable of simultaneously processing two threads, and can therefore operate on up to six threads at once. Graphics processing is handled by the ATI Xenos, which has 10 megabytes of EDRAM. Its main memory pool is 512 megabytes in size. Topic: Accessories. 
Topic. Many accessories are available for the console, including both wired and wireless controllers, faceplates for customization, headsets for chatting, a webcam for video chatting, dance mats and gamer size for exercise, three sizes of memory units and five sizes of hard drives 20, 60, 120, 250 initially Japan only, but later also available elsewhere and 320 gigabytes, among other items, all of which are styled to match the console. Topic. Connect Topic. Connect is a controller-free gaming and entertainment experience for the Xbox 360. It was first announced on June 1, 2009 at the Electronic Entertainment Expo, under the codename, Project Natal. The add-on peripheral enables users to control and interact with the Xbox 360 without a game controller by using gestures, spoken commands and presented objects and images. The Kinect accessory is compatible with all Xbox 360 models, connecting to new models via a custom connector, and to older ones via a USB and mains power adapter. During their CES 2010 keynote speech, Robbie Bach and Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer went on to say that Kinect will be released during the holiday period November to January and work with every 360 console. It was released on November 4, 2010. Topic. AV output Topic. Built in HDMI only made after 2007 SPDIF only slim Stereo audio, composite video, jack 3.5mm only slim E through AV connector excluding E models which have no AV connector Composite video S video SCART RGB VGA YPBPR D terminal SPDIF RCA, stereo audio Topic. Retail configurations Topic. At launch, the Xbox 360 was available in two configurations, the Xbox 360 package and officially known as the 20 gigabytes pro or premium priced at $399 or GB 279 pounds and 99 pence and the Xbox 360 core priced at $299 and GB 209 pounds and 99 pence the original shipment of the Xbox 360 version included a cut down version of the media remote as a promotion the elite package was launched later at $479 the Xbox 360 Core was replaced by the Xbox 360 Arcade in October 2007 and a 60GB version of the Xbox 360 Pro was released on August 1, 2008. The Pro package was discontinued and marked down to $249 on August 28, 2009 to be sold until stock ran out, while the Elite was also marked down in price to $299. Two major hardware revisions of the Xbox 360 have succeeded the original models. The Xbox 360S, also referred to as the Slim, replaced the original Elite and Arcade models in 2010. The S model carries a smaller, streamlined appearance with an angular case, and utilizes a redesigned motherboard designed to alleviate the hardware and overheating issues experienced by prior models. It also includes a proprietary port for use with the Kinect sensor. The Xbox 360E, a further streamlined variation of the 360S with a two-tone rectangular case inspired by Xbox One, was released in 2013. In addition to its revised aesthetics, the Xbox 360e also has one fewer USB port, no AV connector and thus is HDMI only, and no longer supports SPDIF. Topic. Timeline Topic. Topic. United States Topic. November 22, 2005 Topic. Technical problems Topic. The Xbox 360 not slim and e models, has been subject to a number of technical problems. Since the console 
S release in 2005, users have reported concerns over its reliability and failure rate. To aid customers with defective consoles, Microsoft extended the Xbox 360's manufacturer's warranty to three years for hardware failure problems that generate a general hardware failure error report. A general hardware failure is recognized on all models released before the Xbox 360s by three quadrants of the ring around the power button flashing red. This error is often known as the red ring of death. In April 2009 the warranty was extended to also cover failures related to the E74 error code. The warranty extension is not granted for any other types of failures that do not generate these specific error codes. Since these problems surfaced, Microsoft has attempted to modify the console to improve its reliability. Modifications include a reduction in the number, size, and placement of components, the addition of dabs of epoxy on the corners and edges of the CPU and GPU as glue to prevent movement relative to the board during heat expansion, and a second GPU heatsink to dissipate more heat. With the release of the redesigned Xbox 360S, the warranty for the newer models does not include the three-year extended coverage for general hardware failures. The newer Xbox 360 S and E models indicate system overheating when the console's power button begins to flash red, unlike previous models where the first and third quadrant of the ring would light up red around the power button if overheating occurred. The system will then warn the user of imminent system shutdown until the system has cooled, whereas a flashing power button that alternates between green and red is an indication of a general hardware failure, unlike older models where three of the quadrants would light up red. Topic. Software Topic. Topic. Games. Topic. The Xbox 360 launched with 14 games in North America and 13 in Europe. The console's best-selling game for 2005, Call of Duty 2, sold over a million copies. Five other games sold over a million copies in the console's first year on the market, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, Dead or Alive 4, Saints Row, and Gears of War. Gears of War would become the best-selling game on the console with 3 million copies in 2006, before being surpassed in 2007 by Halo 3 with over 8 million copies. Six games were initially available in Japan, while eagerly anticipated games such as Dead or Alive 4 and Enchanted Arms were released in the weeks following the console's launch. Games targeted specifically for the region, such as Chromehounds, 99 Nights, and Fantasy Star Universe, were also released in the console's first year. Microsoft also had the support of Japanese developer Mistwalker, founded by Final Fantasy creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. Mistwalker's first game, Blue Dragon, was released in 2006 and had a limited edition bundle which sold out quickly with over 10,000 pre orders. Blue Dragon is one of three Xbox 360 games to surpass 200,000 units in Japan, along with Tales of Vesperia and Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Mistwalker's second game, Lost Odyssey also sold over 100,000 copies. The 2007 Game Critics Awards honored the Xbox 360 platform with 38 nominations and 11 wins. Topic. Interface The Xbox 360's original graphical user interface was the Xbox 360 dashboard, a tabbed interface that featured five blades, formerly four blades and was designed by AKQA and Audiobrain. It could be launched automatically when the console booted without a disc in it, or when the disc tray was ejected, but the user had the option to select what the console does if a game is in the tray on startup, or if inserted when already on. A simplified version of it was also accessible at any time via the Xbox Guide button on the gamepad. This simplified version showed the user's gamer card, Xbox Live messages and friends list. It also allowed for personal and music settings, in addition to voice or video chats, or returning to the Xbox dashboard from the game. On November 19, 2008, the Xbox 360 
S dashboard was changed from the blade interface to a dashboard reminiscent of that present on the Zune and Windows Media Center, known as the New Xbox Experience or NXE. Since the console's release, Microsoft has released several updates for the dashboard software. These updates have included adding new features to the console, enhancing Xbox Live functionality and multimedia playback capabilities, adding compatibility for new accessories, and fixing bugs in the software. Such updates are mandatory for users wishing to use Xbox Live, as access to Xbox Live is disabled until the update is performed. Topic. New Xbox Experience Topic. At E3 2008, at Microsoft's show, Microsoft's Aaron Greenberg and Mark Witten announced the new Xbox 360 interface called the New Xbox Experience NXE. The update was intended to ease console menu navigation. Its GUI uses the Twist UI, previously used in Windows Media Center and the Zune. Its new Xbox guide retains all dashboard functionality including the marketplace browser and disk ejection and the original blade interface although the color scheme has been changed to match that of the NXE dashboard the NXE also provides many new features Users can now install games from disk to the hard drive to play them with reduced load time and less disk drive noise but each game's disk must remain in the system in order to run a new, built-in community system allows the creation of digitized avatars that can be used for multiple activities, such as sharing photos or playing arcade games like 1 vs. 100. The update was released on November 19, 2008. While previous system updates have been stored on internal memory, the NXE update was the first to require a storage device, at least a 128 MB memory card or a hard drive. Microsoft released a further update to the Xbox 360 dashboard starting on December 6, 2011. It included a completely new user interface which utilizes Microsoft's Metro design language, and added new features such as cloud storage for game saves and profiles, live television, Bing voice search, access to YouTube videos and better support for connect voice commands. Topic multimedia topic The Xbox 360 supports videos in Windows Media Video WMV format including high definition and placeforcer videos, as well as H.264 and MPEG-4 media. The December 2007 dashboard update added support for the playback of MPEG-4 ASP format videos. The console can also display pictures and perform slideshows of photo collections with various transition effects, and supports audio playback, with music player controls accessible through the Xbox 360 guide button. Users may play back their own music while playing games or using the dashboard, and can play music with an interactive visual synthesizer. Music, photos and videos can be played from standard USB mass storage devices, Xbox 360 proprietary storage devices such as memory cards or Xbox 360 hard drives, and servers or computers with Windows Media Center or Windows XP with Service Pack 2 or higher within the local area network in streaming mode. As the Xbox 360 uses a modified version of the UPnPAV protocol, some alternative UPnP servers such as Ushare part of the Geeksbox project and MythTV can also stream media to the Xbox 360, allowing for similar functionality from non-Windows servers. This is possible with video files up to HD resolution and with several codecs MPEG-2, MPEG-4, WMV and container formats WMV, MOV, TS. As of October 27, 2009, UK and Ireland users are also able to access live and on-demand streams of Sky Television programming. At the 2007, 2008, and 2009 Consumer Electronics shows, Microsoft had announced that IPTV services would soon be made available to use through the X. Xbox 360. In 2007, Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates stated that IPTV on Xbox 360 was expected to be available to consumers by the holiday season, using the Microsoft TV IPTV Edition platform. In 2008, Gates and President of Entertainment and Devices Robbie Bach announced a partnership with BT in the United Kingdom, in which the BT Vision Advanced TV service, using the newer Microsoft MediaRoom IPTV platform, would be accessible via Xbox 360, planned for the middle of the year. BT Vision's DVR-based features would not be available on Xbox 360 due to limited hard drive capacity. 
In 2010, while announcing version 2.0 of Microsoft Meteorum, Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer mentioned that AT&T's U-verse IPTV service would enable Xbox 360s to be used as set-top boxes later in the year. As of January 2010, IPTV on Xbox 360 has yet to be deployed beyond limited trials. In 2012, Microsoft released the Live Event Player, allowing for events such as video game shows, beauty pageants, award shows, concerts, news and sporting events to be streamed on the console via Xbox Live. The first live events streamed on Live were the 2012 Revolver Golden Gods, Microsoft's E3 2012 Media Briefing and the Miss Teen USA 2012 Beauty Pageant. Topic. XNA Community. Topic. XNA Community is a feature whereby Xbox 360 owners can receive community-created games, made with Microsoft XNA Game Studio, from the XNA Creators Club. The games are written, published, and distributed through a community-managed portal. XNA Community provides a channel for digital video game delivery over Xbox Live that can be free of royalties, publishers and licenses. XNA game sales, however, did not meet original expectations, though Xbox Live Indie Games XBLIG has had some hits. Topic. Services Topic. Topic. Xbox Live Topic. When the Xbox 360 was released, Microsoft's online gaming service Xbox Live was shut down for 24 hours and underwent a major upgrade, adding a basic non-subscription service called Xbox Live Silver later renamed Xbox Live Free to its already established premium subscription-based service which was renamed Gold. Xbox Live Free is included with all SKUs of the console. It allows users to create a user profile, join on message boards, and access Microsoft's Xbox Live Arcade and Marketplace and talk to other members. A live free account does not generally support multiplayer gaming, however, some games that have rather limited online functions already, such as Viva Pinata or games that feature their own subscription service e.g. EA Sports Games can be played with a free account. Xbox Live also supports voice the latter a feature possible with the Xbox Live Vision. Xbox Live Gold includes the same features as free and includes integrated online game playing capabilities outside of third-party subscriptions. Microsoft has allowed previous Xbox Live subscribers to maintain their profile information, friends list, and games history when they make the transition to Xbox Live Gold. To transfer an Xbox Live account to the new system, users need to link a Windows Live ID to their gamertag on Xbox.com. When users add an Xbox Live-enabled profile to their console, they are required to provide the console with their passport account information and the last four digits of their credit card number, which is used for verification purposes and billing. An Xbox Live Gold account has an annual cost of $59.99, C $59.99, $90, GB £39.99, or €59.99. On January 5, 2011, Xbox Live had reached over 30 million subscribers. Topic. Xbox Live Marketplace Topic. The Xbox Live Marketplace is a virtual market designed for the console that allows Xbox Live users to download purchased or promotional content. The service offers movie and game trailers, game demos, Xbox Live Arcade games and Xbox 360 dashboard themes as well as add-on game content items, costumes, levels etc. These features are available to both free and gold members on Xbox Live. A hard drive or memory unit is required to store products purchased from Xbox Live Marketplace. In order to download priced content, users are required to purchase Microsoft Points for use as script, though some products such as trailers and demos are free to download. Microsoft Points can be obtained through prepaid cards in 1,600 and 4,000 point denominations. Microsoft Points can also be purchased through Xbox Live with a credit card in 500, 1000, 2000 and 5000 point denominations. 
Users are able to view items available to download on the service through a PC via the Xbox Live Marketplace website. An estimated 70% of Xbox Live users have downloaded items from the marketplace. Topic Xbox Live Arcade Topic Xbox Live Arcade is an online service operated by Microsoft that is used to distribute downloadable video games to Xbox and Xbox 360 owners. In addition to classic arcade games such as Ms. Pac-Man, the service offers some new original games like Assault Heroes. The Xbox Live Arcade also features games from other consoles, such as the PlayStation game Castlevania, Symphony of the Night and PC games such as Zuma. The service was first launched on November 3, 2004, using a DVD to load, and offered games for about $5 to $15. Items are purchased using Microsoft Points, a proprietary currency used to reduce credit card transaction charges. On November 22, 2005, Xbox Live Arcade was relaunched with the release of the Xbox 360, in which it was now integrated with the Xbox 360's dashboard. The games are generally aimed toward more casual gamers. Examples of the more popular games are Geometry Wars, Street Fighter II, Hyper Fighting, and Uno. On March 24, 2010, Microsoft introduced the Game Room to Xbox Live. Game Room is a gaming service for Xbox 360 and Microsoft Windows that lets players compete in classic arcade and console games in a virtual arcade. Topic movies and TV Topic On November 6, 2006, Microsoft announced the Xbox Video Marketplace, an exclusive video store accessible through the console. Launched in the United States on November 22, 2006, the first anniversary of the Xbox 360's launch, the service allows users in the United States to download high-definition and standard-definition television shows and movies onto an Xbox 360 console for viewing. With the exception of short clips, content is not currently available for streaming, and must be downloaded. Movies are also available for rental. They expire in 14 days after download or at the end of the first 24 hours after the movie has begun playing, whichever comes first. Television episodes can be purchased to own, and are transferable to an unlimited number of consoles. Downloaded files use 5.1 surround audio and are encoded using VC1 for video at 720p, with a bitrate of 6.8 megabits per second. Television content is offered from MTV, VH1, Comedy Central, Turner Broadcasting, and CBS, and movie content is Warner Brothers, Paramount, and Disney, along with other publishers. After the Spring 2007 update, the following video codecs are supported H.264 video support, up to 15 megabits per second, baseline, main, and high, up to level 4.1, profiles with two channel AACLC and main profiles. MPEG-4 Part 2 video support, up to 8 megabits per second, simple profile with two-channel AACLC and main profiles. As a late addition to the December Xbox 360 update, 25 movies were added to the European Xbox 360 video marketplace on the December 11, 2007 and cost 250 Microsoft points for the SD version on the movie and 380 points for the HD version of the movie. Xbox Live members in Canada featured the ability to go on the Xbox Live Marketplace also as of December 11, 2007 with around 30 movies to be downloaded for the same amount of Microsoft points. On May 26, 2009, Microsoft announced it would release the Zune HD in the fall of 2009, which was then the next addition to the Zune product range. This was of an impact on the Xbox Live Video Store as it was also announced that the Zune Video Marketplace and the Xbox Live Video Store will be merged to form the Zune Marketplace, which will be arriving on Xbox Live in seven countries initially, the United Kingdom, the United States, France, Italy, Germany, Ireland and Spain. Further details were released at the Microsoft press conference at E3 2009. On October 16, 2012, Xbox Video and Xbox Music were released, replacing the Zune Marketplace. Xbox Video is a digital video service on that offers full HD movies and TV series for purchase or rental on Xbox 360, Windows 8, Windows RT PCs and tablets, and Windows phones. On August 18, 2015, Microsoft rolled out an update renaming it Movies and TV similar to the Windows 10 app. Topic. Groove music Topic. Xbox Music provides 30 million music tracks available for purchase or access through subscription. 
It was announced at the Electronic Entertainment Expo 2012 and it integrates with Windows 8 and Windows Phone as well. In August 2015, Microsoft rolled out an update renaming it to Groove Music similar to the Windows 10 app. Topic: <laughs> Xbox Smart Glass. Topic: Xbox Smart Glass is one of the newer features that allows for integration between the Xbox 360 console and mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones. An app is available on Android, Windows Phone 8 and iOS. Users of the feature can view additional content to accompany the game they are playing, or the TV shows and movies they are watching. They can also use their mobile device as a remote to control the Xbox 360 console. Game development PartnerNet, the developer's only alternative Xbox Live network used by developers to beta test game content downloads and games developed for Xbox Live Arcade, runs on Xbox 360 debug kits, which are used both by developers and by the gaming press. In a podcast released on February 12, 2007, a developer breached the PartnerNet Non-Disclosure Agreement NDA by commenting that he had found a playable version of Alien Hominid and an unplayable version of Akaruga on PartnerNet. A few video game journalists, misconstruing the breach of the NDA as an invalidation of the NDA, immediately began reporting on other games being tested via PartnerNet, including a remake of Jetpack, Alien Hominid for the Xbox 360 was released on February 28 of that year, and Akaruga was released over a year later on April 9, 2008. Jetpack was released for the Xbox 360 on March 28, 2007 as Jetpack Refueled. There have also been numerous video and screenshot leaks of game footage on PartnerNet, as well as a complete version of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1, which caused for the whole PartnerNet service to be shut down overnight on April 3, 2010. In the following days, Microsoft reminded developers and journalists that they were in breach of NDA by sharing information about PartnerNet content and asked websites to remove lists of games in development that were discovered on the service. Sega used feedback from fans about the leaked version of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1 to refine it before they eventually released it. Additionally, a pair of hackers played their modded Halo 3 games on PartnerNet in addition to using PartnerNet to scoop up unreleased and untested software. The duo passed their hacked Halo picks to their friends before they were eventually caught by Bungie engineers who left a message for the hackers on PartnerNet which read, Winners don't break into PartnerNet. Other games that were leaked in the PartnerNet fiasco include Shenmue and Shenmue 2. Topic. See also Topic. List of Xbox 360 games List of original programs distributed by Xbox Entertainment Studios Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website Microsoft support for Xbox 360 Xbox Development Team Blog Xbox 360 at Curlie